We are backstage at 21 Row Live talking with lead singer of Candlebox, Kevin Martin. Thanks so much for joining us and letting us have a little sneak peek of what goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> As you can see, it's absolutely crazy around here. Right. So you got a little bit of a cold you're fighting, huh? I do. I'm fighting a bad cold. I hate it. So it's the worst job um, when you're sick is to be a singer, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about um, the tour. Are you enjoying it so far, getting back on the road? Yeah, it's been a blast. I mean, you know, we, we, we do what we do because we love it, and um, we're gearing up to make a new record this summer. So, you know, it's really just kind of about wrapping up the, the 25th anniversary of the first album and, um, and then going into making a new record in August. So, yeah, I mean, it's great. You know, it, coming to the cold weather is a little strange because <laughs> I live in Los Angeles, but... Um, I've been coming uh, to Grand Rapids for 25 years, and I love it every time I come here, so I'm happy to be back. Oh, we love to hear that. 25 years, I can't believe that it's been that long. Can you um, think back of maybe some of the uh, most interesting encounters you ever had with fans? Oh, um, man, tons. Um, there's far too many to count, I suppose, or, or to even, you know, I, when we toured with Metallica, we met some some of the most interesting fans in the world. Um, you know, it's it's been a long career. Um, you know, touring with Rush, their Rush audience doesn't want to see anybody but Rush, so we got a lot of fingers at the show. Um, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things like that. But, you know, the interesting thing is, is like years later, you, they'll come to your show and say, hey, I was at a Rush show when you played. So, I mean, it's all um, it's all relevant, I suppose, to, to who you're keeping company with. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. When we're talking about shows and going on tour, I mean, how have you seen it change from 25 years ago to now, what the tour bus is like? Well, I mean... The venues are a lot nicer than they were 25 years ago. Um, I guess you know the fans generally are the same. Are, are the same, and um, I guess it's just as you get older, you start to to um, respect it more. Um, the gift that you've been given and the craft that you have, um, uh, and and what it means to people. So uh, over the years, I've just kind of grown to appreciate, I think, my audience more. Um, that would be the biggest change because I really had no idea what to expect when we started this band 27 years ago. Um, or that I would be, you know, still touring uh, on an album that made um, that much of an impact on somebody's life. Um, so I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, um, there, there are idiosyncrasies of, about all of it, um, and, and differences in all of it. But um, I'd say mainly, um, you know, that that I'm just a little bit older. <laughs> We, I think we all are a little bit older. Um, so when it comes um, to making music and, and thinking about in the past, are there any songs that you constantly are getting the request from the fans for? Oh, yeah, I mean, Far Behind. People yell it out from the beginning of the set to the end of the set, <laughs> even after you've played it. Um, but... Um, you know, we, we, we tend to um, make the set list up the, the way we want the show to go. Um, should we pay more attention to what the fans want? Sometimes I think yes. But ultimately, um, we want to play what, what we love about our 25-year career. Um, and, and that's kind of what we do. Um, there are the staples that will always be in there, Far Behind You, Cover Me, all those songs will always be in the set. But... Um, right now, we're loving playing stuff off of the Disappearing in Airports record, which came out uh, two and a half years ago. Um, and, we're, and we're enjoying playing a lot of stuff off the End of the Sun and the Happy Pills record. So we kind of get in these modes where we'll stick to one record for a while and we'll focus on songs off that record. I mean, ultimately, you know, tonight is really about the debut album. We do sprinkle in about five or six other songs um, from our career of 25 years. But, um, you know, I, I hope to, to walk away from the set having been able to perform it and, and the audience having to uh, been able to have enjoyed themselves. Well, we certainly love having you back here in Grand Rapids. Thank, Thank thanks so much for giving us a little bit of your time this My afternoon. Pleasure. So if you want to learn more about Candlebox or 21 Row Live, all you have to do is go to our website, 13onyourside.com.